Have you ever lost a game because the opponent totally ignored you and went to double team your partner? In this video, I'm going to teach you about what to do when your partner is getting a double lock and you are getting ignored. Number 1. Increase your pace and tempo. Getting ignored doesn't come with just negative but some positive as well. Such as the fact that there is a lot less pressure on you allowing you to move around and force your boost much more because no one is looking at or is ready to punish you. One of the worst things that can happen is that when your partner is getting double lock and you are taking your time being too careful about moving in or not going in at all and stay far red lock. At this point, you are looking to draw some attention back to you so if you are able to distract one enemy to fight you, that will put a load off your partner. Number 2. Dish out more attack. If you are quite sure that you are being ignored, forcing out a couple more attack like sub and special shooting is not a bad idea. Usually of course, after a bit of firing, you want to land to recover your boost. However, in this case, when no one is really targeting you, you can try to push out more attack before landing. Maybe even switch target to another enemy once down once to keep the high press game going. Number 3. Moving closer than usual to increase your chance of successfully landing an attack. While at it, try to allow your projectile to target flying vector as well. This will increase the chance for you to land a projectile on a moving target. Moving in close, of course, you will risk the enemy turning around and attack you. But that is a win in this situation if you want the pressure off of your partner. So go on in but always be aware of the chance that the enemy might turn on you. Next, let's watch some replay to see this practice being used in real match. Alright guys, so both this match I'm playing Nor and pretty much I'm being Nor mostly in the game. So I'm moving to the side here like how I used that uh, outside playing. But I already noticed now that they were going for my partner as you can see. And they're not really coming to me that much so obviously I push up and just uh, again not, not end up landing there. Just hit one down and go for another one. I'm trying to sub there. I go pretty close, pretty much next to him, trying to sub, but sub is down. But again, yeah, I'm playing very, really, very really close. So my partner is nearly dying now, but they're still pushing for my partner. But now they turn to attack me a bit, which is okay. So the, uh, you know, some pressure off my partner. So that's fine. But here is they're still going for my partner. My partner is trying to run away. I have to actually go in, um, follow my partner in, or else they're gonna get two when you run a lot. Um, manage to actually hit that guy a little bit here. Trying to stop my partner went down, uh, and I also take two. Two of them also went down too, so that's pretty worth it. Um, so now I'm 300, still pretty healthy. My partner is 6 680, still quite healthy. So we're trying to hit him here. Actually get a hit. He bursted. So pretty close to end game. I bursted here, letting us up. We're still going in. So as you can see, like since he ignored me, it's not too hard. To actually land a melee on him, I uh, land a AC on him. Next game, same. I'm still with Unicorn. Um, so, as you can see, like again, this uh, uh, they go for double lock my partner again. So as the same, same. I'm just play faster. So now I notice that he's gonna attack me, so I play a little bit uh, more defensive. But now I know that he going back to my partner. I just like pick, pick up a pace right away. Just go into the red lock. And actually trying to uh, land a hit. I need to go in a lot more to be honest here. Actually get some main in and actually land some sub and some uh, CSB. So as you can see I'm pretty close to them but I'm not really getting hit that much. It, it's not really because I'm very good at dodging or anything. It's just because they're like they're really focusing on my partner. So like I'm overheating here but I don't get punished because again they're focusing on my partner. My partner went down. Uh, one of them also went down. So right now, uh, he's probably gonna play, the Rex probably gonna play defensive, but um, my partner is bursted. So still ignoring me, so I'm trying to go in as fast as possible. Bursted here, just hoping to get some pressure on my, my partner. Then a sub here. Going in again, still going in. Um, yeah, not in the main, they are a little bit of main. So as you can see, they're still ignoring me, so I'm still going. Get a sub sub there. So yeah, these they pretty much ignore me the whole entire game, pretty much like really hit me a little, Just hit him again with a sub there again without them looking at me and I align myself um, toward them. It's not too hard to actually hit them, but now I'm pretty low. My partner is pretty low. My partner bursts it here and then like he actually finish it them with um, main there. But again, guys, even if you follow these rules, like these tips 
fully. There's always a chance that they will win now anyway, but this is pretty much the best practice as you can do if they double lock your partner and ignore you. But it doesn't guarantee that you're gonna win now every time. But it's pretty much become like your strategy versus their strategy and then it's way better than just sit back and not doing anything much. So just push up and actually try to help your partner out. And that's it. That's pretty much it for today guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to help support me, feel free to subscribe for more video and follow me on my other social media. The link will be in the video description.